Welcome to the Gaming Tailgate Video Podcast. I'm CDJ. Joining me tonight is JB Huskers. JB, how are you? Good. It's good to be back. It's been a minute. A brief seven and a half year hiatus, but we came back a little bit upgraded. The game went on hold, so we went on hold, which that hold, we didn't know how long it was going to be, but finally it's it's back. We found out on February 2nd, the game will return. Tonight, we're going to talk about what we know from the, uh, the various articles from ESPN, from Washington Post. Those seem to be the best ones for new information, information straight from electronic arts. But first, Jeremy, how did you find out about this news and what were your thoughts when you when you first saw it? God, I don't know how I found out. Um, it might have been a DM from you. <laughs> Probably was. Uh, it was Twitter. Um, it was either a DM from you or just just I just happened to see it. I was working, um, obviously working from home as everybody is, and I just happened to look down and and see it, and I'm like, oh, oh Jesus, uh, okay, uh, here we go. Uh, you know, I immediately thought, oh, when, uh, you know, right? Could we get a bare bones thing next summer, or or you know, I mean, if it's been in development for a while, or we're gonna have to wait till 23, you know. But that's that's the thing, everybody. When the statements came out that you know we'll keep you informed as the years go on, put a little bit damper on the news, but I think that's to be expected, and we'll get into that throughout tonight's show. I'll say what I that morning for some reason I thought I'll get on Twitter and see what's going on in the world, and I scrolled and stumbled across which was the EA Sports tweet about it and the picture that says college football is coming back. And at first I thought it was an old tweet or a parody tweet or a joke tweet, and I looked at it for at the time felt like forever, but I realized it was probably, you know, five to 10 seconds. I thought, well, why is this resurfaced today? It's not April 1st at, at, at and, EA sports underscore one, six, three, five, five. That's what I was waiting. Yeah, I had an actual, the blue verified check marks. So I realized, okay, this is, this is the jet. This is the real thing. It's time to get back to work. So the big thing, first off we learned was that the NCAA has been dropped. They're not licensing it, licensing this game through the NCAA instead working with the CLC. So we're going to have a slight name change from EA Sports NCAA football to EA Sports college football. Uh, Not a huge shock they did this because originally, as we found out years ago, that was going to be the plan for college football 15. They were going to, when NCAA and some of the partners were bowing out and looked like the game might go on, it was going to be EA Sports college football. So that name is just the one they were going to use. Not a big shock there. But we do know, as of now, or at least what EA is telling us, over 100 schools on board, which at 130 FBS programs is a pretty good start. Obviously, not all of them. Not every school uses the CLC for their licensing. Some use Vermada College. Some do it independently. Either way, EA has to work with all of these schools to get them into the game. We would also find out in some articles that the college is being included in Madden the last few years in long shot. We're kind of the trial run. The schools want to see how it would work with EA to have college football in the game without licensed players having the stadiums for some schools, having the teams, uniforms, the logos, the mentions, everything, but any kind of realistic players or players based on team styles that was gone. That gives me some hope that maybe college hoops 2 k will return because they've been doing the same thing the last few years, having these generic rosters, but accurate team logos and stadiums and arenas. So again, we're years away and JB, I think we kind of know the reasons why, What are some thoughts you thought maybe why they announced this years in advance? Well, I guess just to get the name out there, which they did a good job because the Twitter account just exploded. Um, I don't know what it is today, but they basically got 200,000 in an instant. And uh, so obviously uh, it's, it's drummed up interest on social media uh, just with my fans, uh, my, fr- my, fr- my fans, my friends alone, uh, some of which are not really hardcore gamers. Uh, like, oh, well, it looks like I'm buying a PS five now. Of course we live in Nebraska. Nebraska is basically college football is all we got. Well, volleyball, mm-hmm. but they don't make a NCAA college volleyball game for me. Eh? Um, so Nebraska is, football is all we got for sports really. Uh, and we, we, we don't talk creating it here in this, in this city here. So, um, and so a lot of people, at least in this town, and so that's going to be a lot of, a lot of 
college football towns. Like, oh, well, now I'm going to get on board with next gen video gaming when I originally was not even going to touch it. So, right. you know, I, I think it's it's uh, they, they put it out ahead of time so people can plan ahead because people were not expecting mm-hmm. to buy a PS5 mm-hmm. or an Xbox Series X. I think you're right. I think uh, there's a couple of handful of reasons I came up with. I think the big one being if they're going to get a game out in two, three, four years, they had to get to work now on developing, meaning going to stadiums, scanning the stadiums, scanning uniforms, uh, signing all those contracts with all of the entities from the bowls to uh, NFL stadiums, to the teams. It was going to get out. Uh, I think they kind of realized they had to get ahead of the past a little bit. So let's put it out there, calm a lot of nerves. Cause uh, this is the question that you read all these articles and all of everyone who works at EA said, this is the question we get everywhere we go. We wear an EA sports jacket out in public and people are saying, when is college football coming back? Uh, along with that, I think it helps put some pressure on those schools who haven't signed on. If they have a hundred plus, but there's still 20 to 30 to go. And you see, like you mentioned, when the Twitter explodes in, in 24 hours to get 160,000 plus followers, you know, there's some demand out there. And I'm, then that's an understatement of the year along with that. And it gets to the next point we're going to talk about. We know that the original the plan right now is the game will have generic randomized rosters. It's meaning the team styles are probably not going to be accurate. Um, there's going to be no confusion or belief that these rosters are based on world players. They're going to stray away from that. I would imagine uh, as far as they can, they're going to get a million miles away from that to avoid any possible litigation that they may face down the line. So I think this also puts some pressure on the NCA and Congress who were in a mess trying to figure out name likeness image laws legislation fans got the game back no not officially it's not in hand but it's we know it's in development we know it's coming the next big big piece of the puzzle is can they get named rosters ea wants it they're going to be watching this the legislation what the ncaa does what congress does so there's always a hope like i said they, we know they're going to use randomized rosters for now at the start jb what is your thought I know, I know we're years away, so maybe this could change drastically. Do you think it's going to affect people's perception of the game or their purchase habits if it doesn't have those named rosters from the get-go? I don't really, I don't really know because it's hard to tell who, uh, how many, who played what. If somebody's just picking up and playing, if the majority are pick up, just pick up and play a game, it might. But that could also just be the a, a vocal minority that even went out and got the roster. So I will say, yeah. I know the way people always talked on the game until getting hit us up around the roster time. I, it felt like everyone and their mother was going after rosters, but, but I don't understand what you're saying is the online community sometimes is not the population at large. Yeah. And typically a play now online is the majority and, you know, they're just going to pick up a play and are they going to really notice, you know, who's who maybe they will but are they playing with names? Most of them probably aren't, um, you know, but if, if a lot of people are playing dynasties, I mean, once you get through a few years, those guys are already filtered out. So it, that's that, right. It, it's kind of a mute point anyways. So it kind of depends on what you play. Mm. Um, if you play, play it now all the time and you really care about the roster, it's going to be a big deal to you. Right. Um, but I think the vast majority of the crowd is probably not going to care. Um I don't know if they'll, you know, if there's going to be editing tools at all. I don't know, but I, even then, the that, the vast majority is not going to use them probably to no. to, et, to edit. And so I don't think I don't think I, I think when we talk about the majority of people that are going to play the game, which I, you know, uh, you know, could be in the millions on mm. this first run back, especially if word of mouth that, that the game is good, mm. you know. You know, I, I don't know how many millions that Madden sells right now, but, you know, I, I think NCAA could probably at least cut into that and, and get a, a a quarter or half of that of what Madden gets. And uh, just because the hype is so real. I think you're right. I think this first year they've they've got so much goodwill, and we'll talk about that a little later in the show. Uh, talking about the rosters, my personal belief or guess is that they're hoping that they're going to time this just right to where they can work on game features and modes and getting the teams in for the first you know, two to three years of development. And then that last stage of development, hope to goodness that the NCAA figures out a way to get 
the name, image, and likeness into the game and licensed. And then that would be the last final big project before release. So they could have a fully fledged, fully featured game out at launch. Because if they can get that, uh, it's going to sell like gangbusters the first year. I think we all know that, but it's going to be a whole different monster. If we know in year one, we have named rosters and whoever the star players are in college football that time, which you start thinking ahead, it's probably going to be guys we don't know right now, or maybe guys who were freshmen this past year. So for guys who are, you know, about ready to Aaron college football, or maybe a freshman or sophomore, and we saw a lot of former players upset. They never made a cover. You got to realize if we get a chance to have a licensed cover athlete, it's a guy who's young. So it's, it gives a really good opportunity now in a couple of years that, you know, somebody now who we're not thinking of could be the first cover athlete for the return of college football. It's, you know, it's weird because we're just in that unknown, but I, mm-hmm. it's, it's almost inevitable, you know, it, it's mm-hmm. inevitable that these players are going to get paid. It's, it's right. inevitable that a deal is going to get struck. Um, the CLC is probably going to be a lot easier to work with than the NCAA ever was. Mm. So. I, they'll, they'll probably do less vetoing. I would guess because um, you never know. Um, the school still to put their foot down on things they don't like. It'll be interesting to see how it changes behind the scenes. If, if any stories ever get out about what's better or worse from NCA versus the CLC. Uh, I think what's interesting is that they mentioned in several articles that the next gen platforms and seeing the technology kind of helped EA decide it's time to bring it back. And I, I can see that. I mean, the things that the PS5 and the Xbox Series X can do, uh, just the processing power, so many more characters at the time can move on the screen. Uh, there's so many possibilities with it. And I think part of it also, going back to our point of getting to work on this game, you know, we've been, we're two consoles away since the last one. So I have to think a lot of the assets that were in NCAA Football 14 probably are not going to carry over, at least not think the art assets, for example. So they had to go in and redo all these. So, but we're getting to the point now where, it's going to cost a lot to develop this game, but they know the sales yeah. will be there. But the longer they put it off, it was one of those. I think they had to realize either either we do it now or never, or you know it's going to get only more expensive down the line. Yeah, if they're lucky, the the sound can carry over because that's mm. one thing they cannot go out and do right now is capture sound. Because right, that's no, a good point. There's there's no crowds. Um, there might be this year. I mean, cases are dropping very dramatically, mm-hmm. uh, lo- especially locally. They. I, I was amazed by the the numbers this week, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't hold my breath. But um, right, every conference have... has been so weird about it and restrictive, some more than others. Yeah, so we're still six months away, and if it's looking good now, I don't th- I don't think it's going to be full pack stadiums this year. But I mean, I think it's no. going to be better. It's going to be better than what we had in the NFL. I think so. Right. But still, you know, they had good audio. Oh, hell, we were on the field recording some of that a long time ago. right right many moons ago that's right in a previous life we helped get some audio for, from a nebraska game for them that's right uh, a losing nebraska game at that yeah let's not talk about it. nowadays that's a lot of them there's uh-huh. is a quote i wanted to bring up from ea sports vice president and general manager daryl holt in one of these articles and i want to know what your thoughts are on this i liked hearing this uh but i think we kind of need to translate it or tone it down a little bit he says but it, meaning the game, will be something that our core fans, if they appreciated and loved NCA 14, they will love this game because that's just the starting point. I love hearing that because I think they realize NCA 14, I know some of it you know, ended so quickly and abruptly and not really EA's fault. It wasn't due to poor quality or poor sales. It was something out of their hands that caused this game to go away. Uh, but I think everyone, I shouldn't say everyone, but generally speaking, the game is considered the best of the franchise one of the best football games of all time. So I think it's a great starting point, but I don't think it literally will be that college football will be and say football 14 plus new stuff. I think there's going to be some things that get toned down, if not go away and other features are going to get amplified or added on that we haven't even thought of. It's, I, it's going to be a lot like it's going to be, it's going to be very basic and it's going to have probably a lot of stuff that Madden has. It's probably going to have right. like the, it's probably going to have that line play that Madden has that I, I can't, I can't tell you what the name of it is, but you, you see the dots, uh, you see the dots fill up underneath the yeah. offensive lineman when you do a rush on them, For those, which, right? which I think is a great feature in Madden, to be honest, because mm. you can't, then you, you can't take somebody like Khalil Mack and just over, uh, over pursue 
uh, just over rush a guy to the right, you know, because mm. you just eventually get cut off. And I think that's a good a feature that could carry over to, to NCAA. I think they're going to carry over things, but it's going to be very bare bones. I, uh, the, ver- the first you game is so? going to be, oh, yeah, I, I think so, unless they've been at it for a while. Right. I I see where you're coming from, and it's tough. I mean, we're so many years away, and you know that's why tonight's show we're kind of talking about what we know and a little bit of what we think because we have realistically are going to have two to three years of wish list and wish list and feature hopes, so we're not going to waste it all on the first night. Got uh, a lot of hot air for two years, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to do that. We don't want to come on here and talk about stuff just to make up stuff. We want it to be either what's new or we're going to tell you, hey, this is wish list. It wouldn't shock me. I the good and bad part is. You know, when this was announced, there were a lot of people saying, this is great, this is great, this is great. And then another voice kind of emerged from a lot of people saying, please don't be like Madden. <laughs> but I would say it's a blessing and a curse. Um, if they didn't have a Madden in that same studio, I don't know that we get a good game or get a game anytime soon. It helps they have gameplay. I'm not going to say done, but they have a, an advanced gameplay you know, football title that they can bring a lot of stuff over. It's the stuff around it that I think really needs the changing up. You know, franchise mode in Madden is considered very lackluster, uh, not engaging. You, you know, we had was it fixed Madden franchise trending, and it finally led to you know a lot of videos and blogs and changes mid year that wouldn't have came otherwise. So, you're gonna, it, and you're not going to get what you're not going to get away with doing that on a dynasty. No, especially when it, you know NCAA football's online dynasty was considered the the best, and I'm probably partial, but you know, the best sports gaming online dynasty or franchise of any of them still being used today. Right. And that's to me was so uh, confusing and frustrating as a video gamer and a sports fan is those guys should have been shifted to another title and said, go work your magic, put the same thing in something similar in Madden, put it in NBA live, put it in whatever they're working on at Tiburon at the time. And instead uh, the team kind of got shell, you know, split apart. Some guys are still down there. Some have, moved far away so that's the thing that uh, and there's even quotes from EA saying we don't have a team really working on this but let's let's talk about that because I'm not sure that quote is entirely accurate we do know that EA will be building and hiring for the team soon per an EA recruiter on Twitter uh, this ties in well as EA Tiburon is going to move to a new downtown studio in Orlando this fall which will allow for expansion of team size and just expansion of teams period because there's also we won't get into this tonight because we're talking college football There's rumors of another EA Sports title coming out, I believe, later this year or next year that has not been announced. What could that could be? I I don't know, but we won't get into that. But they're moving to this new studio. They can add team members, which is a huge help for probably Madden, uh, college football, uh, the mobile titles down there, and anything else they may add. However, based on social media posts that I I stumbled across, and they weren't hidden, I'll put it that way, there are currently team members on each coast and the team has existed since in some form since at least June of 2020. Now it's probably a very bare bone staff and it was probably just guys, you know, formatting, you know, coming through with a plan, seeing if colleges would be willing to sign on what, uh, what it would take to get them to sign on. But there's been some sort of team. And like I said, this is from EA employees and former employees, one who's came out and said that he was on this as his final project. So it has existed. So, the train might be a little further down the tracks than we are led to believe, but I also do not think we're going to get any kind of game features or information anytime soon. The way, you know, sometimes they could turn things or t- turn around things. And sometimes that, you know, mm. things have been secretive for a while too. So you never right. know what, what has been in the pot. So and you, you don't know what has, uh, you know, you know, you don't know what's been done before June 2020 either. So you, you, you right. know, it's hard to, you know, probably won't hold my breath for next summer, but it's a possibility. I, I, I'm i personally leaning towards, you know, we're at 2021 now. Um, I know when they took NBA Live down to Tiburon, how to build a team that very first year was very slow and just, just building a team and getting people going and getting a game going. Uh, I'm, I hate, I know a lot of people are saying, well, okay, 23, 23 is the year. I personally am thinking probably 24 is probably the earliest we'll see it. I want to be wrong. So trust me, if I'm wrong, I'll be the happiest person on the planet. Yeah. But like you said, maybe at EA play, um, maybe not this year, maybe next year, maybe we get our first legit screenshot because right now, if you want to see what it looks like, go play Madden, you know, go play, you know, face of the franchise and play with one of the colleges. 
So, I mean, if, if you want to see your first look at it, <laughs> go play Madden on the <laughs> PS5. That's yeah. kind of what it's going to look like. I don't think they would have announced this now, though, if it was, uh, if it was three, if it was, you know, mm. twenty four. I, I don't think it, it. I don't think they would have announced it now if it was that far out. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. That's my gut. Just tells me don't get, don't get too excited. Yeah, too it's early. a little weird to, to announce it though and, and hold it off for two more years. So. Of course, I think they had to get ahead of the leaks. I mean, it was going to come out. They had no choice. Probably. But I see what you're – I know it. If it, if this thing is three, four years out, a lot of people are going to be scratching their heads. I know, but I know it takes time to get all the stadiums in and get the details right. But, but let's get to tonight's big discussion topic to end the show with. In my opinion right now, EA and the college football development team have more goodwill than they will ever have in the future. And I think you could even say they have more goodwill than any – video game development team will ever have. And I know that's a bold statement, but I can't think of any other games in a situation like this that went away through no fault of their own. And when they came back, there was almost universal hype and praise. I think the two that might be closest if they ever came back would be NFL 2K and College Hoops 2K. But I don't think either one of those would rise to this same level. NFL 2K would be, of course, we know there's some kind of arcade, you know, 2K game probably coming, but that's not the same. So do you agree with that statement that EA has more goodwill than ever? And I can explain why after you give your, your thoughts on it, but if you do, do you agree? And if so, how do you think they need to take advantage of this? Yeah, I would say it, it's gotta be up there. I'd, I'd put skate in there as well, mm. um, which then finally got announced last year, I believe it was. Right. Um, but the goodwill was because they went out on a good note. It was right. One of the best in the series and it was better than Madden for a long time too. And the fact that you can still play it online with people mm -hmm. to this day, which is something that, that Ben Hommiller made sure stayed on, which was right. You know, thanks to him, it kept it alive even you know, this far after the game's mm -hmm. been released. So I right. think, I think the fact that that's been, uh, been it around, it's still, yeah, it's, it's helped. It's, it's helped keep it in people's minds uh, to, now be finally ready for this to finally come out. Right. Um, and for those who might be wondering, what do you mean by this goodwill and how did they get it? Well, I think they earned it a lot over the last few years, especially well on that whole PS3 and Xbox one series, or excuse me, Xbox 360 uh, console life, you know, going from 08 on, or even 07 on, which is only on the Xbox first, uh, the game got better each year. And the last few years, especially, I thought they were, that development team and Tiburon were the leaders of community engagement, not only just community day events, but even throughout the year, reaching out to the community, even small and simple things. Uh, some that come to mind just real quickly here, thinking about it. I remember they put out a silly thing, uh, early images of the mascots they ran into the game. And I remember operation sports, the gaming tailgate, other sites, social media weighing in saying on some of them, that's not, that's not right. That's not really what it looks like. That's not correct. And they would come back and fix it. I believe before it was 13 or 14, uh, several community sites, including the gaming tailgate, they reached out to us and said, Hey, could you guys figure out the, you know, the cannons and the band locations in the, in the stadiums? You know, they said, if we could hire a guy to do this, but it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of money. It'd be easier if you guys do it. No promise for this year. And they, so it, the community it, it, knocks it out in an afternoon. And to be fair, that guy may not have cared, you know, right. That is true. They, they had doing it. So. That's right. And I remember on, on TGT, for example, I think it was LSU. We had two former band members arguing on location. <laughs> one, one was there several years ago and one was more recent. And finally they realized the guy who was more recent was correct, but it's small things like that, that I think add up quickly um, because it showed that they, they wanted to get the details right. And that's what college sports is about, especially college football is the details and the traditions. If this game is a generic or sterile version of Madden, you know, they're going to lose some of that goodwill if they're not engaging with the community throughout the development process, like NBA Live did when they, you know, when they delayed the game in the last year for, I believe, 20 and said, we'll be in touch. And we're, what are we, two years now? And there's been no contact. If they pull something like that, that goodwill is going to go away real quickly. But if they're able to, you know, have open communication throughout the development process as much as they can, I know they can't get ahead of themselves and promise anything. But if they're asking for feedback like they did in the past, 
I, I think they're really going to take off. And that's, mm. that's just really important for the future of the franchise. The details were very important. I mean, they're important in any sports game. Right. Especially when it comes to you know, NBA with shoes or, or, any, or, mm. or just gear on Madden with uh, mm. individual gear. But uh, college football is its own special thing with details. Just the whole package is a detail. Right. And to get it right is gonna uh, to get it wrong is gonna piss off a whole fan base so right you want to and you you want to make sure to be able to to get those fixes in as, as quickly as you can and then and, and, and uh, ea did a pretty good job of that with ncaa football right and i think it goes back to daryl holt's quote we mentioned earlier was that you know ncaa 14 being the starting point and that was one thing that 14 a lot of people said they they appreciate the details that it wasn't just the big schools at the top 25 that got attention they really were seemed to think, seemed to work on every program, every conference. It didn't matter because I think even you go back to NCA 07, which in hindsight isn't that you know far away from when NCA 14, you know TV t- schools and TV television programs. It seemed that only the big schools got the love, the top on, whether it be TV coverage plus in the game having the details. But by the time 14 came out, we started to get to the point where the, some of the conferences were getting ready to establish networks or had networks. Um, ESPN just airing so many games nonstop that it didn't matter what conference you're in anymore or your tier or your prestige or your program, you're getting TV time. So now everyone knows your details. Everyone knows your stadium quirks. Everyone knows your uniqueness that when the game started to add those kind of things, I think it really helped it take off because it really embraced the entire sport. But I know it's tough with 130 programs to get that all right in year one. So it'll, it'll be difficult. And I think that really ties in with the final point here that, the leadership and the dev team they build will be important. And I think that's, it sounds like from the quotes from the two ESPN articles and the Washington Post article, that's the stage they're at now. It's fleshing out this development team that if they can get the right leadership and the development team and a lot, not all of them, but a good number of them were still down there. And so hopefully they can get back in there and get it rolling. I think it'll really get this game ahead of the curve. If they get it wrong, it's going to be kind of a slower build, just like in a college football program. If you don't make the right hires from the get-go on your staff, it really slows you down for years to come. The, the previous game in safe football, those previous years, they had some great community managers and great developers, as we just mentioned, who really sought out that community feedback and involvement. And if they can get lightning in a bottle twice, I think we're going to be in for a treat because now there should be no legal issues to slow this, you know, this ship down, that it should be really to take off. And I'm, anxious for it but like i said it's going to be years away unfortunately jb what's your final thoughts before we wrap up the show tonight well i'm just glad uh we figured it'd eventually be back Mm. ever since it came back ever since it showed up in madden we figured this was the door Mm. creaking open for this and so it's good to see that it's finally here it's good to see some old familiar friends talking about Mm. it again some uh people getting together again people you haven't heard from in a while and right uh, just get excited for it so uh you know just excited to hear more how many messages did you see or read that day from people saying it's time to get the band back together yeah a lot a lot I, I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> uh, quite a bit uh so many people were just excited uh, uh on right. our site you know with the online dynasties we did mm-hmm. um you know they're always so much fun to start with a, a small school and work your way up and uh right hired getting hired and fired starting as a coordinator and just kind of progressing through with, with a, a group of people. It is always a lot of fun. And I think uh, that just is, you know, one of hundreds of thousands of people that have the exact same experience. Right. And I think thankfully it was still around, but right. it's starting it, to get old. Um, right. It needed, it was ready to be refreshed. It wasn't going to withstand another console generation of being away. And you never mm-hmm. know when it's going to go away. So, right. It's kind of like life, you, you know, not to get, philosophical here but you never know when things will end or go away I mean, yeah. you need to appreciate when you have it and it's yeah. one of those that i think we all just thought well it's going to live on and go on well it didn't it stopped and it didn't seem real when it ended and uh it doesn't completely seem real at it's back yet i think once we get our first image or screenshot or feature reveal it's gonna it's gonna sink in even more and once that disc is in my hand or the downloads you know on my console then it's gonna be like holy cow we're, we're back it's here yeah I mean, it's always, and it's always been that way. We've always mm-hmm. been looking forward to that first screenshot of the year. And uh, right. that's the next step basically is yep. to look forward to that next, that first screenshot. We want to thank everybody for watching. This was episode 30 
of the Gaming Tailgate podcast. I know we had a brief hiatus. I promise it will not be seven and a half years until the next one. Make sure to visit the gamingtailgate.com. On the top of the page, we have a link to our EA College Football Information Central. As information comes out and great articles come out, we're going to link them in there. That way you don't miss anything about the game. You're like us. You want more information. We're going to put it in one spot so you do not have to hunt and peck for it. If you like the show or didn't like the show or have any questions or thoughts on future topics or areas of focus, please email us podcast at the gaming tailgate.com or hit us up in our DMS. I'm CDJ 80 JB. You can be reached at JB Huskers and make sure to hit that little bell icon. So, you know, every time a new episode of the gaming tailgate podcast happens, mm-hmm. give a thumbs up as well and comment, sure. just give us some comments as well. Because commenting and liking and hitting that bell helps spread the word. Right. And uh, we want to hear what you think. So, uh, you know, give us a holler. But yeah, I'm on the Twitter at JB Huskers. And should we tell them about our new little uh, discussion toy as well while we're at it? Well, we're on Discord. Is that what you're talking about, JB? Yes, sir. I am. Yep. Hit us up at the Discord. We have a link at the DME tailgate in the upper left. You'll find a link to it. Visit the forums, visit us on Discord, leave a comment below. We want to hear from you. Don't just leave us hanging out in the wild thinking we're talking to ourselves which we might be but hey we're talking about the game and we love the game so it's all worth it so let's wrap it up there so it's not a long show to start with we'll be back in the future with more game information or just our hopes and wishes from you and the community which is the most important everyone thank you for watching and have a good night